this? There he is, the guy I've been wanting to meet all weekend. Tim Tebow, Rich, what's the meeting, man? How you doing, guys? Tim Tebow, apparently the nicest guy in Indianapolis this weekend. Yeah, that is definitely not so. Yeah, don't let us down. I usually am pretty mean. Please, do not (laughs) disappoint us. Now, Now, Tim, I'll tell you what, man. Everyone just so fascinated by not only you, but your story all year. How could someone not be happy for you? I go on Twitter, and I see people. Anyone that hates you, I want to punch in the face. Uh, you're kind of a violent guy then. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, you, you're, you're, your story is terrific. I mean, did you even anticipate anything like this happening this year? You know, I, I'm so blessed to be able to play the game that I love and that I care about and under a great organization and a bunch of teammates that, that really make me look a lot better than I really am. And, you know, it was a lot of fun. This season we had a bunch of special moments, um, you know, some great comebacks and some great, you know, last-second wins. And, you know, it was just fun to be part of a team that, that had character, that no matter how many times we got hit or got knocked down, we were going to get up and we were right. going to keep fighting. And, and there's something special about that, you know? For a national champ, for a Heisman Trophy winner, for a guy that wins in the playoffs already, how could, how could anyone even criticize you? How is that possible to <laughs> I mean, is, uh, is it's it be, possible? Is, is, is it uh, yeah, clearly right? Is, is it is it uh, was it a fun year for you being the, the spotlight of the NFL, or is it challenging? What, what was your I th- take? I think it was fun, not just necessarily because it, you know anything to do with the spotlight. I think it was fun just because I I was able to live my dream, you know, yeah. and having fun. You know, if you were to tell me when I was six years old I'd be playing you know quarterback uh, for the Denver Broncos at a home playoff game versus Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, I said that's a dream come true, and I wanted to enjoy the moment and not just. You know, live up in the hype, and I'm so. I always say I'm so thankful that I don't have to live the roller coaster that the media and so many people think of my life, the ups and downs well, and everything. How don't you live it? I mean, do you put yourself in a bubble? How do you ignore all that? <laughs> well, you, I, you have an entourage. I, man. I have you know close friends and family that yeah. I hang out with, and you know, and I can stay more grounded than all the ups and downs because it's never as good as it seems. It's never as bad as it seems, I, and. Are you, are you teammates? Do they do they bust your balls with the T-bowing stuff and all that? Are they are they, are they teasing you like uh, like uh, locker room crap? I mean, Von Miller tweeted it, you know, <laughs> so they have fun with it, and you know, just like I do, and uh, you know, I think you know, just with the whole T-bowing thing, I, I'm definitely not the first athlete to get on a knee and pray. No, um, but is, is it amazing too with all the bad people out there? Uh, you know, there's other athletes that are doing drugs and doing all this bad, crazy shit. You're a good dude, and just because you have faith and you're and you're a, you're a good dude, people criticize you. Is that odd to you? That's uh, always been odd. To you me. know, it's okay. You're always going to have criticism, and you're always going to have naysayers, and that's okay because you know it definitely adds fuel to the fire for me, and, uh, and and definitely a little bit of motivation. But at the same time, I got a lot of people that support me, that are praying for me, that love me, and that have my back, and that means a lot. I, I got a, uh, one last question. Tim Tebow on the Cavino and Rich show. Do you have Tim Tebow to G's. Do you have that in your iPod? And the Jimmy, the Jimmy, what is it? Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon? Fallon. Do you have that in your iPod? <laughs> no, I don't. Come have, on. I don't have that. That's the Although joke. it was fun being on his show last night. Yeah. And I mean, what a funny dude. You know, just talking to him backstage. I mean, he will make you laugh the whole time. How about that other day? Uh, Tim Tebow's fire. You know that You know that jam, right? No. You don't know that jam? What is that we one? Got, we oh, we got to get, we gotta get heard of the Jimmy Fallon one, yeah. but what's that? Tim Tebow's fire. You know what? We'll tell you about it off the air. What, what, <laughs> what do you listen to to get you fired up before a game? To be, I'm actually to curious. To be honest, I, yeah. I'm actually very different than most athletes. I actually got to listen to stuff to calm me down. Oh, okay. Um, you know, so it's country, Christian, Michael Buble, Frank Sinatra, like just old school relaxed music. Have you met Buble yet? I have not. No. Okay. No. Well, man. Well, it's a pleasure, pleasure. to meet you. Absolutely. Absolutely. My pleasure, guys. Pleasure. Thank Anytime, you. come on back. Yeah, yeah. great. We want to have you back on the show in New York. Okay. Tim Tebow on the Cavino and Richard. Have a good time, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, thank you, guys. All right, man. Big fans. Big fans of what you do. Thank you.